Dude, if you fall asleep in Sunday school, Mr. Frank might call you out in front of the entire class. Is this your first time here? I'm Ruth, by the way. What's your name? Hmm. Are you reading the Bible for fun? Huh. I guess I am. I don't know how you do it. I mean, the Bible is huge. I opened it up for the first time last night and there's like a million pages. I didn't even know where I was supposed to start. Do you understand the Bible? Well, I've been going to church my whole life and my parents talk about it all the time. So, yeah, I think so. Could you explain it to me? Which part? Like, the whole thing. The whole thing? Yeah, like how does all this fit together? Hmm. Uh, wait, I've got an idea, but I'm gonna need some help from the rest of the class. What? No, no, no. All right, everyone. This guy wants to know the whole story of the Bible. Let's show it to him. This is the greatest story ever told. It begins in Genesis, now here we go. Where's Mr. Frank? Let there be light, God said, day one. Ocean and sky, day two would come. Dry ground and trees sprung up, day three. Then sun, moon, and stars, fourth day twinkly. All the fish and birds swam and flew, day five. Animals and herds, day six, came to life. And Adam and Eve were born that day. I made you very good, very good is what our God did say. It would have been a happy ending, but Adam and Eve broke the one rule given. Ate from the tree, God had told them would kill him. Struggle and trouble broke the garden's glory. But a savior would come before the end of the story. God would save his people again. He'd save his people again. Yes, God would save his people again. He'd save his people again. Terribly bad. children who had children again and again they turned out to be villains our god was grieved at the world he designed so he sent a flood to wash away all of mankind it would have been a tragedy no was faithful his heart devoted safe in the ark on the flood he floated got painted a rainbow and made him a promise that never again would all the waters surround us Was that like the first half of the Bible? Dude, that was just the first few pages. What? It takes a little extra time to get through the intro. That's how it all started. God created the world, everything was perfect, and people decided to disobey him. Everything went bad. That's why things are still bad now, because people messed it up. Well, what happened next in the story? Does God save his people? Just out of curiosity, why are you so interested in trying to understand the Bible? 
RJ! Well, I gotta go. My parents are here. Thanks, Ruth. I can't wait to hear what happens next to your story.